My name is Debbie Chard. I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia on the 12th of June 1996. I was offered AML 12 trial, which was three courses of eight weeks chemotherapy. Um, I achieved remission after the first month, but I had to continue with all three courses to ensure the leukemia went away. During this time, my sibling was tested for a match for a bone marrow transplant. You have a 25% chance per sibling. I only had one sibling, he was a brother, but I was very lucky because he was a match. In the November of that year, I went and had a bone marrow transplant. I had strong chemo, which completely knocked out my whole immune system. And while this was happening, they uh, took the bone marrow from my brother. And when I was at rock bottom, they gave me his bone marrow. I was in hospital for eight weeks, at which time I got graft versus host disease, where the donor bone marrow were starting to be rejected. At this point, my liver failed, and they tried to, they tried various drugs and managed to get the liver working again. I then caught shingles, which delayed my stay another two weeks. So in all, I was in hospital for the transplant of 10 weeks. All in all, I was in hospital for eight months. diagnosed at the age of 67 with AML. Um, she was unable to have a bone marrow transplant because of her age. He tried to find out whether it's genetic. Um, some people are saying it's genetic, some people are saying it's just un unlucky. But unfortunately I lost her in June 2011.